probably going to be a temporal lobectomy. You can see here that this is going into the amygdala. Yeah. You've got hippocampal coverage right here. Even in high school, I was very interested in how the brain worked. I was just fascinated about neuroscience and neural networks, how the brain was communicating with our body. Like all neurosurgeons, I began training uh, on adults. And then over time, my heart told me that I wanted to treat children. I just found pediatrics so rewarding. Children are so amazing, they're so brave, they deserve to reach their full potential. My name is Skellig Stone. I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon at Boston Children's Hospital. Let's take a peek here. Yeah, she still seems pretty tight, so. What is her dose at the moment? I'm putting her up to 173 from 150. Okay. As a pediatric neurosurgeon, you see the whole gamut of problems involving the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves that may be treated with surgery. Whether that's a child with a brain tumor, if that's a child with dystonia, a child with hydrocephalus. I also have particular specialty in epilepsy where patients may have seizures and we cannot completely determine where their seizures are coming from. Some of those patients will need us to put something in the head or in the brain to record from it and in many patients target those problem areas and try to stop the seizures. There's really no piece of technology available in the world that we do not have here. It's wonderful to be able to leverage all of these technologies to be able to do surgery more accurately, safer, and more effectively for our patients. I saw your MRI scan, it looks amazing. That little tiny opening I made to make sure the fluid flows nicely is working, and everything looks great. As is said all the time, children are not small adults, they're very different. They're changing so rapidly developmentally. And the evidence suggests that if you can normalize brain function early, the brain may develop in a more normal way moving forward, which means that we want to do what we have to do to get them away from medicine and just do what every kid wants to do, which is learn, play, love, be happy, and become something special. Mm -hmm.